Hey there, and welcome to another Musician Reacts uh, on the Dave Does channel. Today we are checking out uh, the Sentinels of Light, the official music theme 2021 from League of Legends. Uh, came across this through checking out some of the uh, Pentakill stuff, uh, and this looks like an interesting track to check out. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry if I cough or um, sound a little bit more ropey today. Unfortunately, we've tested COVID-19 in uh, or coronavirus uh, in our household. So unfortunately, we're all in isolation at the moment. So bear with me. So um, it's a good opportunity to do some more videos, but uh, it's a little bit more challenging, shall we say. Uh, hence why I'm wearing the glasses as well, because you tend to sleep quite a lot when you're not very well. Uh, and taking contact lenses in and out all day is uh, not an ideal time. Uh, but anyway, let's get to Sentinels of Light. I don't know anything about it, so we'll check that out as we go. If there are lyrics, I don't know. Uh, but if they are lyrics, we will uh, break them down at the end. If you like this video, please do subscribe, click the bell icon, like and share. If you want to join the channel or join the Patreon or support the channel, uh, details of which are in the description down below. We have the Patreon from as little as £1 a month. Uh, and it greatly supports this channel, so it is greatly appreciated. Uh, there is also Bandcamp for those that want to check out uh, or download music from uh, the collaborations, uh, all the Alec Bartar, Felix Awan. So all the collaborations are on there. Uh, the original music by Project 42 is on there. So yeah, great way to support, again, support the channel. Uh, let's go to this, Sentinels of Light, uh, official music theme 2021, League of Legends, Kelly in three, two, one, go. Okay, there we go, Sentinels of Light, the official theme 2021 from League of Legends. Uh, oh, what I like about those particular videos, uh, all these types of videos, is where they show the artwork um, from like the early stages, the drafts, 
uh, or the original sketches and how they then kind of layered them up and come up with their concepts. I think that looks very, very cool. Um, I also like uh, musically, it's always this it's this big epic sound that uh, always feels like it's always about battle. It's always about the forebodingness and then it's kind of the swelling that brings it all up and makes you kind of get really into it. It makes me uh, remember back in late 2000s, early 2010s. So kind of like the 2008s, 2009s going into like to, up to like 2015, I would guess. Uh, there was this bit, there was this massive thing with bands about having like epic, epic music as their intros before they came on stage. So they always knew they always had like the classic like ACDC and stuff like just playing around or Iron Maiden and then that would fade off and then this sort of stuff would come on and then everyone in the crowd would know that that band's about to start and they'd have like a three minutes worth of epic music and then the band would start into their song and that seems to have dropped off uh, but it was uh, definitely a phase that loads of bands went through because it was this, this almost like you're coming into battle but what I noticed was that when bands would finish that big epic intro and then launch into the song it really felt a bit odd because it never naturally unless they were like a symphonic power metal band or something like that maybe if they were like a night wish it would work but when you've got bands like machine head would do it and they would have these big epic intros and then suddenly machine head would kick into one of their songs it sounded cool in a way but it also made it feel a bit odd uh like it didn't quite naturally flow uh so maybe that's the reason why it's gone uh talking about sort of things that are relevant and league of legends still is that still a big game i guess it, i'm guessing it is i figured like because i know league of legends has been around for a while uh what's it when did it come out 2009 sorry my glasses aren't as strong as my contact so i have to kind of scan it 2009 so that's been going so well so that's now 13 years give or take um so I'd have guessed things like Fortnite and obviously then we had Minecraft. Minecraft came out around the same time, I think, 2010, I guess. But Fortnite and that lot sort of took over from things like League of Legends and stuff like that. So I'm wondering if how big the community is. I'm not a massive online player game. I like to play single person uh, PvE games. Um, I'm not really big into multiplayer yeah, uh, PvP uh, sort of stuff. So um, really haven't really got into League of Legends. I think the last time I played anything like, I guess that would have been Guild Wars, maybe Guild Wars 1, Guild Wars 2. Uh, played those back in the day and that would have been around the same time as League of Legends launched, actually. 2000... I'd have been playing Guild Wars 2009, 2010. Hmm. Anyway, as far as the music goes, very, very cool. I love... Uh, love that piece of work. Uh, I'm guessing that was the in-house um, arrangers uh, that came up with that piece. So yeah, sounds very, very cool. Um, no lyrics to break down, so uh, nothing to go through on that particular one. Uh, but anyway, if you like the video, please do subscribe, click the bell icon, like and share, leave your comments down below. Remember though, always be yourself, unless you could be Batman, then of course be Batman. Take care.